Hello, my dear friends, welcome to Final Night 4. Now, you may realize the game's a lot louder than me, so I'm going to hit play right quick. Um, but pretty much this is a, uh... As I, Max Donovan, have previously stated in an earlier post, the mystery of Fred Bear is a very interesting one. Not much seems to be known, but uh, I think I got a good lead so far. A couple of days ago, I sent something in the mail, and I was told what was inside may be of interest to me. Finally, after sorting out all the rest of the junk mail I got, I opened this one, and to my pleasure, saw some very intriguing things inside. On the outside was a note that said, This once belonged to my grandfather who worked at Fred Bear's. He disappeared soon after and this was all that was left of him. New information is always great, and it's even better with a story attached. I rubbed inside the letter and to my amazement I found a key to the entrance of Fred Bear's family diner. I'm thinking that the person's grandfather may have worked here as a night guard or something but the chip attached to the key. As of right now, I am planning on visiting the old establishment soon, and see what I can do with what was sent to me. If anyone has any clues to who this grandfather character is, leave a reply below. I really am interested in knowing who this person is, really. Max Donovan, Paranormal Investigator. Yeah, it goes to me. Now, this game is really loud, so there. This is it, where it all started. And I've tried fiddling with the settings, and it seems like no matter what I do, the game is still going to be louder than me. And there doesn't seem to be a. Uh... What the heck? Wait, this is point and click. Nope, that won't work. I didn't know this was a point and click thing. This is my trunk. Okay, that's cool. It looks like that key I got would be useful right now. You don't say. This game's point and click? I didn't know this game was going to be point and click. I thought it was uh, kind of like the joy creation, which I still actually do need to finish. Okay. Doesn't really seem to be many places I can go in here. I'm lost, dude. Okay, let's go up. Oh, oh okay, just sure. Nope, that won't work. What are they doing? Oh, there was a safe there. I didn't see that. I didn't know this game was going to be point and click. Or maybe that's just one of the mechanics nope, of the game. Nope, that won't work. Okay, so I turned up the steam valve. I'm just bracing myself. Oh, oh. Hey, friend. What? The pub is like attention. Oh, hey. Okay. I have a 
flashlight? What am I supposed to do? What am I what am I supposed to do? I don't have any instructions. If I die, don't be surprised. Can I leave? I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Okay, that just happened. What was I supposed to do? Like literally the loading screen lasted like a second. Okay. still have no rules there is there is no rules like I wish something would pop up like in the corner telling me what to do right now maybe I'm not supposed to flash the puppet maybe maybe that's what it is because it seems like I die when I flash the puppet Okay. That's really weird. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Okay, hey. Hey, friend. Hey. Oh, he has a, he has a little heart beside his eye. Okay, so I guess now he's trying to get me adjusted to the rules, even though I still don't know what the heck they are. But don't interact with the big puppet, I'm assuming. I wonder when this is end. Is this endless? Because literally, I had I have no rules. Like maybe I'm supposed to flash the purple one because he's on that side. What? Okay, now I'm starting the game. What was that? What, what was what was the point of that? What was the point of that? Hello there, new night guard, and welcome to my establishment. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Henry. I'll give you the quick rundown on how the animatronics and the building systems yeah, requested so actually function. The camera. First up, you have your cameras up front. Yeah. Activate them by pressing space on the keyboard in front of you. You can press S to exit back out. I took the liberty to go into some state-of-the-art tent for us here. And there's screen that can detect your fingers, locations with invisible lasers. Pretty fancy stuff. Anyway, touch a bow on your buttons to switch cameras. Any room with a green triangle can be selected. Even the vents. Now, you also have your alarm and air refresh buttons. For now, you'll only need the alarm. Pressing it will signal a bright, loud, and red alarm to ring in whatever room you have selected on the camera. You can ring the alarm near your office by using the left shift key. And now, on to your animatronic buddies, courtesy of me, of course. <clears throat> Fred Bear is up first. I gave him the role of power management, basically. If 
he knows the lack of people, he will go into different rooms and try and find guests or staff members. And if he decides the place is completely empty, he'll shut off the power. Not something you want now, is it? Now, all you have to do is lead him to you. He'll go after any noise, so whenever he's taking a break to take in any sounds or signals, try ringing the alarms in nearby rooms, leading him towards you a couple of times. Once he's close enough, say, party room one, then ring the alarm near your office. That's a shift key, remember? Bonnie, however, is a bit of a different beast. He'll wander around looking for intruders. Normally, if you wear your guard uniform, he'll read a chip inside it and not register you as an intruder. However, you didn't exactly fit the last guard's uniform, so until you can tailor yourself a new one, just try to avoid any contact with him. But if he does manage to enter your office, try and stay completely still. One of his parameters for checking if someone's human is if it moves. Thusly, if you stay completely still, he... probably won't register you as a human, and thus, not as an intruder. Alright! Hope you got all that, good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. I actually didn't really get too much of that. So I lured Bonnie to my office. Wait, what the? I'm gonna have to read up on the rules, dude. They're not going back. find them. Probably won't register you as a human. And 
thus, not as an intruder. All right. Hope you got all that. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. Freddy, come on. Does he know that I'm a night guard and he's just okay with it? He's like, okay, there's somebody here. I don't have to worry about the power. <laughs> what? <is it? laughs> okay. How? I just met him! We literally, we just said hi two seconds ago! Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We, we literally just said hi two seconds ago. And now he's gone. Okay. Oh, what? Is... Okay. Okay. I, I don't know then. Because I keep calling him here and I keep leading him through the rooms while he's standing still and listening. It's just bugs me. Yeah, so I tried this uh, multiple times. Um, the game looks fine. It actually looks pretty dang good. Uh, I like the animations and I like, um, I kind of like the alarm system and stuff like that. But for now, the game is bugged for me. Um, I do like the game and if you like it, you should try it out. Maybe uh, you won't experience the same problems I did. But um, if you like this video, leave a like and a comment below. And don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe to Dave Come Mike too, is it? And I shall see all you guys. Um I guess if the game comes out. Or maybe if a big update, something like that. So bye guys. Have a good time. Oh, also, I will leave the uh game link in the description down below in case you guys want to try it out. Have fun. Stay fresh and clean.